Two years after an eight year old boy took his own life, a federal judge has cleared the way for a civil rights case against Cincinnati Public Schools to proceed next month. The family of Gabriel Taye filed the lawsuit 22 months ago. It says the eight year old took his own life in January of 2017 after repeated bullying by classmates at Carson Elementary School. The lawsuit alleges school administrators knew about the bullying and did nothing to stop it. The school district asked the judge to dismiss the case over a year ago. The judge denied that request, so the school district appealed the decision. A wrongful death claim in the suit is still under appeal, but the rest of the case is now going forward. A pretrial conference is set for July 17th. Today, Cincinnati schools revealed a new plan to address bullying in the district. Leaders want to provide even more training for staff and encourage students to get involved as well. The Night on Your Side I team has covered the district's response to bullying since Taye's death. Night on Your Side's Josh Bazan digs into how many cases of bullying the district sees each year and what these new programs hope to do to drop those numbers. The school district should have taken care of this problem years ago before Gabe died. Jennifer Branch is an attorney representing the estate of Gabriel Taye. The eight-year-old's family says he died by suicide after being bullied at Carson Elementary in 2017. But certainly in the last two and a half years since his death, the school district should be uh, preventing suicide at that school and preventing bullying. CPS records from last school year show Carson Elementary ties for most reports of bullying among all elementary schools in the district. In the fall semester of 2018, Carson and the Academy of World Languages both had nine confirmed reports of bullying. Actually, I find that very sad that Carson Elementary, after Gabe's suicide and death in this litigation, bringing light about the problems at Carson, that the bullying rates are still so high in the district. Withrow University High School had the most confirmed reports out of all secondary schools with 23. At today's school board meeting, the district explains how it now approaches bullying and what new programs it's introducing to help deal with the problem. In the plan, the district wants to expand peer-to-peer -peer counseling, which it says has proven effective. It also plans to add training for all staff members, map out where exactly in schools bullying happens to allow teachers to prevent it, and change how schools punish the bullies. I think that is what the school has needed for a very long time. Branch says it looks like the district is going in the right direction, but there is still more work to do. I hope that it works, and I hope that they can prevent bullying and help the children who are bullied and who are bullies uh, get the support that they need. In Coryville, Josh Bazan, 9 on your side.